Concerns of volcanic eruption in Yellowstone National Park rise after mysterious crater forms. A new, rapidly expanding vent filled with icy blue water has appeared in Yellowstone National Park's Norris Geyser Basin, raising concerns about potential volcanic activity. People worry that this feature, which has formed over the past few months, could signal ongoing underground shifts at one of the world's most active supervolcanoes. In April 2025, park geologists inspecting a temperature station in Norris Basin discovered a startling sight, a 4.5-meter-wide pool of milky, light blue water. Located just west of Tree Island, the pool's presence was completely new since their last visit. Its formation appears to be related to a hydrothermal vent, but the underlying process is slow and subtle. Analysis of satellite imagery indicates that the vent did not exist before December 2024. By December 19, the area was still featureless, but by the 6th of January 2025, a small depression had formed. The depression gradually developed into a water-filled pool by mid-February. This timing was confirmed by satellite data, which showed no signs of the feature in early December, but clear evidence emerged in early January. Geologists used a variety of tools to understand how the vent formed. Specifically, an infrasound monitoring station installed in 2023 detected several low-level acoustic signals from the area. While no large explosion signal emerged, these faint sounds indicated a series of small, continuous events rather than a sudden, catastrophic explosion. The signals began around Christmas 2024 and continued until early February 2025. The absence of seismic activity during its formation suggests a gradual process. Rather than a single, catastrophic eruption, scientists hypothesized that several small events caused siliceous rock and mud to eject, creating the initial depression. These small disturbances eventually caused the pool to fill with silica-rich water, which remained warm at around 43 degrees Celsius, 109 degrees Fahrenheit.
This behavior is consistent with previous hydrothermal activity at Yellowstone, where small eruptions are common. The park's history records other similar events, including the famous Porkchop Geyser eruption in 1989 and the 2024 eruption at Biscuit Basin. However, the recent formation near Tree Island differs in that it is more gradual, suggesting a series of hydrothermal processes. While hydrothermal eruptions are common in Yellowstone, they rarely escalate into larger volcanic eruptions. However, the presence of new features like this raises questions about subsurface activity. The park's monitoring system, including satellite imagery and infrasound sensors, is designed to detect signs of significant unrest. Current evidence suggests that the feature's formation did not involve a major eruption. Instead, it resulted from a series of smaller, low-energy events. Experts emphasize that such activity is common in Yellowstone's dynamic geothermal environment and does not necessarily indicate an imminent eruption. <laughs> 